Hey folks, this is Riker with a Diablo 3 patch 2.6.7 season 19 video on the best builds. In this video, we're going to go over the top 10 best builds for solo greater rift pushing going into season 19 and additionally rank roughly 50 builds and sort them into a tier list of their relative power. What's important to stress here is that every one of these builds is viable. Every one of these builds can absolutely destroy a GR70. And with enough time and effort, every one of you could do a GR90 with every build on this list. And a big part of the reason why we rank these on a relative basis and not an absolute basis is because the absolute GR level that you will attain will revolve mostly on how many Paragon levels you're going to farm, how much you will perfect your gear, how much you will augment your gear, how much you will farm for greater rift. So on a relative basis, if you are able to push a GR 90 with an F tier build, then that means theoretically with an S tier build, you should be able to push around a GR 110. Now, in the video description, you will find links to each and every one of these builds, and these links will be updated over the coming days and weeks as we figure out precisely the exact configurations for some of these newer builds. I highly encourage you to check out last season's tier list for far greater context, and please do bear in mind that this video was made on a serious time crunch. I was away for most of November for BlizzCon, and then ExileCon, I just came back a day ago, and normally these videos take me days and weeks of research and production, so do bear in mind that some of this might be a little inaccurate and I will put up update videos when I can, if and when necessary. Now, in order to try to get this video out before the season actually starts, this will be a condensed version of my usual tier list video. So let's jump right into F tier. Let's talk about a couple of the builds that we have dropped from the list, starting with Helltooth Gargantuan Witch Doctor. It is just being far outclassed by other Witch Doctor builds, by other builds in general. It is popping off that list as well as the Inarius Necromancer. Its power is just far too low relative to other builds popping off that list. The Veer Frozen Orb Wizard, good for speed runs, but for GR pushing, you might as well go Veer Chantoto. It is a ton more powerful. And then Unhallowed Essence Grenades build. This was at a time the most powerful Demon Hunter build, and it is just far, far, far outclassed by Unhallowed Essence multi-shot now. Those are the builds that we have dropped from the list. Now, new to the F tier, dropping down from D tier is the Roland's Sweep Crusader. It hasn't lost power. We're just reorganizing our tiers because once again, the S tier has seen a bit of a surprise. We are pushing other builds down to make room for the new S tier. Onto the D tier, we're actually removing one build, the Legacy of Nightmares or Legacy of Dreams Heaven's Fury Crusader, because, well, we'll get to it when we get to the S tier. But one build that is remaining in the D tier but getting buffed is the Sunwuka Wave of Light Monk. This most recent patch saw some buffs to Barbarian, Monk and Crusader players. The Vengeful Wind weapon is being buffed. This will incidentally buff the Sanwuka Wave of Light build by about 1 to 2 GRs. Onto the C tier, nothing really new here. We're bringing down the Pestilence Necromancer and the Legacy of Nightmares Singularity Mages Necromancer from B into the top of C. Again, this is just due to the reconfiguration of the tier list. And that takes us into the B tier where we have our first major point of contention. The Legacy of Nightmares Thorns Necromancer build took a serious hit by a nerf to the Bone Ringer offhand. It used to be uncapped buff stacks. Now there is a cap at 60, so after 60 seconds of building this buff, you no longer gain more buff, whereas in the past you can stack it for 5 minutes for terrible, terrible damage. So in short, what this means is that if you are attacking an enemy for 60 seconds or less, this build is not nerfed in any way. If you are attacking it for more than that, then for every additional second, this build is relatively more and more nerfed. It's difficult to gauge exactly how nerfed this build is. Some rudimentary calculations tell me it has lost about 10 Greater Rift levels of power, but this can be highly dependent on Greater Rift fishing for specific Greater Rift bosses, so we'll have to see exactly how bad this nerf turned out to be. 
Regardless, this is likely going to be a serious fall from grace for the Legacy of Nightmares Thorns Crusader, whom we have previously ranked in the S tier. Now, three builds dropping down from A tier are the Hoda Raker Barbarian, the Jade Witch Doctor, and the Multi-Shot Demon Hunter. They're not less powerful than expected. We've just pushed those goalposts a little further. But new to the list, we have the Justice Monk that'll top out the B tier. This is a monk build that utilizes the new Patterns of Justice set. It is a Tempest Rush Monk channeling build. In early PTR testing, the new Monk set was simply not powerful enough. It has received a recent buff, and I'm most excited to see how this build will evolve. This is one of the few truly new builds in this game in a very, very long time. So I'm looking forward to seeing how it is going to be iterated on. What will the best items and gear turn out to be? As a reminder, build links will be in the video description and I will be updating those throughout the days and weeks. That takes us to our A tier. And one big surprise here for me was that the Legacy of Nightmares Condemned Crusader turned out to be far more powerful than I expected. Last season we put him in the C tier, but he is now performing at a tier levels. Still though, if you're going to go Crusader, you're likely not going to go LON Condemn because there is a new star in town. But more on him in a bit. The Legacy of Nightmares Dagger of Darts Witch Doctor. We previously put him in the S tier. He's dropping down to A simply because the S tier is now even more powerful. Now also new to our tier list is the Sun Wuko Tempest Rush Monk. Now this is a build that I believe was unintended by the developers. However, Utilizing the newly buffed items and combining those with the Sun Wuko set, we now have an even more powerful variant of the Justice Monk. And unfortunately, it seems that the Sun Wuko version will be eclipsing the Patterns of Justice variant. This is looking to be the most powerful Monk build for Season 19. Another nice change with this patch is the massive buffing of the Wrath of the Waste set and the Whirlwind Barbarian, which is now the Whirl rend barbarian yes the devs have finally made this combination work and most of your damage now pretty much all of it is coming from rend you're whirlwinding constantly to activate your rend but rend is now your source of damage this is a huge buff for the barbarian taking the whirlwind build from c tier all the way up to a tier making it the most powerful barbarian build and one of the most powerful builds in the game now coming in at number three we have the veer chantoto wizard while it was s tier last season it actually got a nerf this season bringing its power a little bit more in check roughly on par with the whirlwind barbarian this remains a very powerful build and hopefully it would have been the most powerful wizard build if not for the fact that the Legacy of Nightmares or Legacy of Dreams Bazooka Wizard might still be on top. Now, the devs have been trying to nerf this build. This build is exceptionally difficult to run, and most players use macros to time the exact skill executions in order to make this build work optimally. Now, I have not had the time to test out the changes, the nerfs myself, but reports seem to be indicating that the nerf didn't quite work as intended. The build seemed to be dead at first, or at least the intent from the developers seemed to be to kill this build. But it seems all that actually happened is that it has killed the build for all but macro users. That now the timing is pretty much humanly impossible to nail. So we're putting a question mark here because if the build is not dead, then it will be the most powerful wizard build of season 19. And then hopefully in season 20, it'll be properly killed off. Otherwise, maybe we'll get some kind of hotfix. Probably not, though. But we'll have to see how things pan out. That takes us to number one, the most powerful build in the game currently. The Valor Crusader that uses the new Aegis of Valor set. This is the new and improved Heaven's Fury Crusader. In early PTR testing, this build was not powerful enough. It at first was simply a Fist of the Heavens Crusader, then the devs retooled it into a Fist of the Heavens and Heaven's Fury Crusader, which has turned it into just a Heaven's Fury Crusader that is, I'm just going to say, OP. This is the build that is moving the goalposts of the S tier. It will undoubtedly receive a nerf for Season 20, but hey, 
Crusaders get to have some fun for season 19. And that is going to wrap up this tier list video. Again, as a reminder, I do not have a lot of time to work on this one, so do keep an eye out for updates. Thanks for watching. Special thanks to my Twitch, Patreon, and YouTube supporters for making these videos possible. If you like what you see on this channel and want to support the creation of more content, you can consider pledging on YouTube or Patreon and unlocking behind-the-scenes content, monthly virtual hangouts, and more. If you enjoyed this video, please share it, check out these other videos, and subscribe to join Rikers Raiders for more Diablo content.